Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop and Lightroom. In this video, we're going to look at Adobe Stock. So let's jump in and see what's what. So here I am in Photoshop, and I haven't got any images ready for me at the moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Libraries panel. Now I can go up to Window and find Libraries. There it is. I've already got it open. It's over here. I can double click it and it expands. Now I've got all mine sorted out for now, but if I come into my library here and I can come down and I've got a library called stock for stock images. I'm going to click on that and you can see that I've already got some stock images that I've got from Adobe stock. To open one up, all I've got to do is double click it. So I'm going to open this one, an agent posing with his gun. There we go. And as simple as that, it's all open, ready to go. Now, what if I want a background for this? Well, that's going to be easy enough. First of all, I want to put a mask on this. And as luck would have it, I've already done that. So I'm going to go and open that one up. Open recent. There we go. Spy with mask. Let's close that one down for now. So I've got a mask already in my channels. Let's go and pop that on. There we go. Now I want to add a background. Now I've got some already in my libraries here that I've got from Adobe Stock. One of them is called a famous welcome to Las Vegas sign. What I can do is I can just click and I can drag that over. You can see I get this plus sign and drop it down. Now you'll notice it comes in as a smart object. And this is really helpful because it means that we're not damaging the original file at all if we resize it or anything like that. I'm going to click the tick and then pop this behind it just so we can see it in context. Now one of the things to notice here is in the layers panel, you can see the thumbnail of our layer. And the one that I've just pulled in, the welcome sign, has got this cloud. It means it's coming from the Creative Cloud and it's all synced there. So that's pretty helpful. A good indication of what's going on. I'm going to throw that one away just for now off this document. Of course, it's going to stay in my libraries. And I'm going to add a new one. Let's move him across to start with. Just neaten things up. That's better. Now let's say I want to find a different image, maybe something like a laboratory to put behind him. Well, I can come up to File and then search Adobe Stock, and that's going to open my default web browser, and it's going to open a page here on Adobe Stock. Here we go. Any second now. There we go. And I can search for laboratory there. What I'm actually going to do is go back to Photoshop and show you another way that I can do this. Back onto Photoshop, and I can come up onto my Creative Cloud here in the top, and then choose to go onto Stock, and now I can choose to search from there. Now you can see I've already typed in laboratory. I'm going to click go and off it goes and it does exactly the same thing. It opens up the web browser, but I've already typed in laboratory. So it's done the search for me. Let's just have a scooch down and see what we've got going on here. There's lots of nice ones. And I'm thinking maybe this one here. So I'm going to click on that and I've got some different things I can do here. First of all, I can license it. Now, you can see that it's going save to stock. That's the name of the library. I can change that if I wish, but if I change it, it will download it straight away. So that's something just to watch out for. I can download it to any one of my other libraries or create a new one, but it will license it by changing it. So I'm going to just click off that for now. I can also save a preview to stock. We'll have a look at that one in just a second. And we can find similar. So I go, yeah, but this kind of laboratory I want, but I can click on find similar and it will do a search using the keywords and it will come up with similar images. And they are very similar, aren't they? There we go. Okay, I'm going to come back up to the top and maybe choose this one here. So I'm happy with that, but I don't know if it's going to fit in with my image. And that's where this save preview to stock works really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the downward facing arrow and I'm going to create a new library and I'm going to call this one preview. There we go. Previews. And there we go. I'm going to plus that. Now you can see because I've changed it, it's now doing it. It's saving it and it's saved preview to previews. I'm going to go back to Photoshop. And in my libraries, I'm going to find previews. There it is. It's all ready. And then I'm going to let that update. Shouldn't take too long. And then there we go. Um, I'm not editing this in any particular way, by the way. This is doing it in real time. So you can see now that I have that image available to me. Now, if I pull that one in, everything works the same. It's a low res image 
and it's got the watermark on it, but I can see if this is going to work for me. So there we go, and we can do that. And okay, it's maybe not perfect, but I've got a good idea of whether this is going to work or not. Now let's say that I like this, and I think, yep, okay, I would like this image. Well, first of all, I could go and find it. I know what number it is. It's got it on there. I could also go back to my web browser and just download it, license it, and put it into stock. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back into Photoshop. I'm going to right click on this thumbnail here, right click, and I'm going to say license the image. So there we go. We can license the image now. And off it goes. It updates. There we go. This will use one of your 51 licenses. I've got 51 available to me. I'm going to click OK. And now you can see that that is now updating to the full res image. And it's going to get rid of the watermark and that number down in the bottom right hand corner. Now, what's really cool about this, and it's taken a little bit longer because it's a bit of a, a longer file. What's really cool about this is that it will remember where I've used this and it will put it exactly where I, I put it just a second ago. So uh, I moved it down into the right position. And uh, well, I didn't resize this one, did I? But uh, it would remember that I resized it. So here we go. There we are. We're all done. It's done it for me as easy as that. So there we go, that's Adobe Stock. It's great if you're doing composites. It's great if you need backgrounds. I'm Eric Renault. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.